Welcome back to the channel. I go by the name of Boston Daily 91. We are Exposed Nation, and we got a banger for you. This is it. This is everything that you guys have asked for, a thousand percent proof. And shout out to my boy Atomic Hacks in the comment section, letting me know that he just uploaded this video. This is huge for you guys. I'm excited to bring this to you guys. Like I said, I have to work in the morning. We're not bad boy beaming. We don't want your money. We just want the truth. Okay, so I seriously appreciate the work that this guy put in. He has a goaded setup. He is one of the goats. I am going to leave his channel linked in the description. Make sure you guys go over, check the video out. Make sure you give him a like. Let him know what you guys think in the comments. Thank this man. And also hit him with a sub, turn the notification bells on. This is the work that we need again. I am always the first one to admit that I don't cheat and don't know about cheats, okay? So this dude has obviously extens ext extensive knowledge. I'm sorry for the stutter. But he shows you and then he brings it back and shows you his setup and how the set, like the angle that you see. So just make sure to watch the whole video all the way through. It looks exactly like Z-Laners does it. And honestly, when you watch the end of the video, when everything's put together, how it's supposed to be, it looks exactly like Z laners and Aiden's and the things that they don't show you and how they hide them. So this video is huge. I can't believe it. We're actually in some kind of drama with Bad Boy Beam when he copyrighted striked one of my videos. He's not in it for the community. He's in it for himself. But this is what the community needs. This these guys' time is coming to an absolute end. So thank you, Atomic Hacks, for allowing me to use this video. I appreciate it. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. The Discord, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Reddit, it's all linked in the description. The video will be linked in the description along with this man's channel. I'm soaked to bring to you guys. Like I said, enjoy the video. It's going to be a motherfucking banger. What's up, guys? Atomic here. We're bringing you a new tutorial today on how to use uh, XSplit and Streamlabs to set up a duplicate monitor uh, so you can put your ESP hacks on one screen and your gameplay on another. Uh, the reason for this method is so that you can uh, put a camera behind you pointed at two of your screens and, you know, get rid of any accusations that people are saying, hey, you're cheating. How do you know where that person was? Um, and you say, well, I'll put a webcam on my stuff and you'll see that I don't have radar or ESP, whatever they want to call it. Um, but in reality, you actually have three monitors and your third monitor is where you're uh, ESP hacks there. So we're going to show you today how to set this up. We're going to use a single PC method um, instead of using what most streamers do, which is have a stream PC and a game PC known as a dual PC setup uh, using like an Elgato or something like that. Now this process will work for Elgato. Uh, you would just do it one different step is the only thing that you would do. And we're going to go over that as well. It's very simple, truthfully. Uh, so you'll notice over here on my monitor, we have Streamlabs pulled up, which is not what I'm recording with. So right now I'm recording with XSplit. Gamecaster using NDI source. Uh, what that means is I'm using XSplit because that's what hides my cheats. As most providers, that's what you would have to use to hide your cheats on stream. And then I'm using XSplit Gamecaster to stream it to Streamlabs because that's what I'm familiar with. And I use Streamlabs to send it to Facebook, YouTube, wherever I'm going, right? Um, we have a video tutorial on how to do that process. Go check it out on our channel. It's for the NDI source setup. Um, so we got our source over here on the screen. This is our game, uh, as we're going to call it. And we're going to right-click on the source and go to Create Source Projector. Now, this is going to pop up with a new screen. It's going to say uh, your display capture. Where do you want to send it? Uh, in our case, we want to put it on our big big screen, our ultra wide. So we're going to do the 2560 by 1080, right? So what this does, and I'm going to close it because I don't want to do that because it's going to mess up what I'm trying to record here for you. But um, so basically, what's going to do is put this preview window on my middle screen, even though that is my middle screen that you're seeing now. But uh, what it's going to do is my game is would be currently playing on a different screen. And it's going to put that on my second screen as well. But now it's going to record it without the cheats because that's what we sent over here to Streamlabs. So think of it this way. Here's, we're going to bring over XSplit, right? This is fixing to get really confusing uh, with the way this is going to look. But bear with me, okay? So this is XSplit, the window that's moving around, okay? 
this is capturing my game, okay? And we're gonna we're actually gonna spin up a game real quick. We'll give it a second so it can load, huh? Now I'm not gonna send this to the uh, the secondary screen here because if I if I toggle NDI right now, it's gonna mess up what I'm doing. It's, it's gonna like create so many windows here that you're not even you're gonna get confused. It's gonna be like a ton of years. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this to another monitor real quick. We're going to go into, you can see my game from that window currently, uh, from this, the Streamlabs window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. I hope you can see this. So I'm going to options, graphics, display mode, windowed, apply. And that's going to give me this little window and I'm going to just drag it over here, right? And I'm going to full screen it on this screen. I'm going to switch it back to full screen borderless. Apply. And there you go. Now you're seeing my, uh, the game, right? So what we're doing now is we'd open up the Streamlabs. You would right click, go to create source project or projector, I mean, sorry. And then we would send it to my primary screen. So what that would do is that would duplicate the screen here that's in here, which it, when you have it set up right, right now I'm using display capture or whatever, just to just uh, capture the display itself. So what, what, what it would do, do is it would send the game because that's what I'm recording. I'd be sending the game over here. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to switch to this. Give me a second. So now, 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 now you, you see, like, like you see here, that's why I was trying to avoid, avoid, avoid by doing, doing that. that. Um, so basically, at this point, I would right click, click this, this and create a source, source project, project, right? right. And now, now, now that, that my game is showing show up in here, here, here like you, you see, see the background, background there. there. Now that the game is showing up in there, there, it would send the game over to the other screen, screen because that's not how I check it. So I'm going to put this out of the way. I can see how it's still there. So that, that's, 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 that's what, what we're, we're doing. doing. Um, that's my API source. source. That's, 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 that's seeing my, my game itself. Itself. Capture, not my desktop. So that's how you would set it up so you can stream. I'm going to back up with a camera and I'm going to show you all my monitors and we're going to play this game and you're going to see how my ESP is on one screen and on my middle screen it's not and you're going to see that there's going to be a slight delay because again I'm on the same PC probably not going to have a resolution problem because the the resolution is not going to match because one screen's bigger than the other. And unfortunately, and unfortunately, it won't work like, like that. that. You'll, you'll have high resolution problems unless you either adjust the resolution to match, like change the resolution of your monitor to match that one, or, or make sure, sure you have two of the same monitors that you're doing it with. with. So we will be right back. So right now, I'm showing you my three screens: my oh, middle one, my main monitor, and my left monitor is my secondary monitor. But as you see, I have the cheats pulled up on the left monitor but there's nothing showing on my middle one now the resolution on the middle monitor is off because my monitors are obviously different sizes so in order to do it i'd have to scale the center monitor through obs which i'm not doing currently obviously 
or we're gonna get into a game here and you'll see that I'll get closer to the screen so you can see it all, but you'll see that the left monitor will have my ESP and everything, but the center one will not. And most of the time, this is the angle you would see for somebody that's letting you see their screens is you'd be seeing like this angle or vice versa if they had their right monitor as their one that you'd have it angled like this so it's not seeing that right monitor because they're going to be trying to tell you that oh that's just obs or my chat or something on the other other monitor when it's not that So you'll see, we'll take this off the screen, but we'll, we'll come over here and you'll see that we have, definitely have the ESP hacks, right? Where we can see everybody. But if we come over here, we do not see them. We don't see any of the ESP hacks. And you'll see they're pretty much lined up. Now there's a slight delay with mine because again, I'm doing this from one PC and not two, but you get the idea. We have ESP on one side and non-ESP on the other monitor. Again, we're gonna go in closer. You'll see that we have ESP there, right? We can see the people. But on this one, we don't. And again, like I said, there is a slight delay in it, and that's only because I'm doing it from one PC currently instead of two. With them doing it from two, you would barely see any lag with that. So again, we'll come in closer to this screen. Our gaming screen that you would be seeing the person play from, right? and what you would be seeing on the stream. And then the screen that actually has the hacks. And here we'll even, we'll come a little, we'll zoom in a little bit so we can get the full screen. My mom in the background probably ready to kill me because I haven't been in bed yet. It's like 5.15, but this video is absolute gold. Um, this is how they do it, man. I mean, what more do you guys need to see? So, like I said, man, this guy, this is great work. This is absolutely golden. I appreciate Atomic Hacks for bringing this to my attention and allowing me to use this video. Um, I, at this point, guys, I mean, I don't know what else to do. The game is completely busted. And the only way to save this game is to actually just, like, kind of join them and just ruin the game and level the playing field. So go subscribe to Atomic Hacks. He shows you how to do it all. And, I mean... I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep doing this. But, I mean, I'm fucking tired. I am, like, legitimately tired. But, anyway, this is how you work as a team to expose the bullshit. This is... I, I don't know, man. You guys see my video about Bad Boy Beaming, man. This shit's crazy. Uh, we're all on the same team. We all want the same thing. We all want answers. We all want to see what Z's looking at to the left. I mean, it's not Z-Laner's setup, but it is looking to the left. You guys see what it is, man. This video is an absolute banger. It's probably the best one I have ever seen. If this doesn't open people's eyes up, I don't know what is. But listen, we're going to have a lot of people so mad in the comment section. These big cheaters and the thumbs down on the videos, man, because they just got busted wide open. Streamlabs, not Streamlabs OBS. Or no, it is Streamlabs OBS. I'm not, it's not OBS Studio. It's Streamlabs OBS and X split, X split on the two PC dual monitor setup is how this is done. So these guys got three monitors. We never see all three of them. I have yet to see it. If you guys see a guy using three monitors showing it all, then please feel free to link something down below. But this has been your host. My name is Boston Daily 91. Hope you guys enjoy the banger. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. This shit's crazy. It's new information coming out every single day. If Bad Boy Beeman never copyright strikes me for being a, the douchebag, self-serving, narcissistic asshole that he is. 
I wouldn't even be up and I would have never read this comment to even get this video to you guys. So double upload day. I hope you guys find that lit. I find it lit. Look forward to reading your comments. I got to be up early for work. I'm going to go cuddle my baby mom. She's probably going to stab me in the neck like this chick. You guys enjoy. Peace.